What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. I know it's Monday, but let's talk about the Rey Barreto Tumbao. So Rey Barreto. Now, if you don't know who Rey Barreto is and you're playing congas, um, I suggest you study a bit, read a book, and really listen to some music. I mean, this guy, during the 70s, during the 80s, he was it. He was the most popular conga player you could ever say. I would say I would put Rey Barreto and Mongo Santa Maria as like the most popular congueros in a specific era for a long time. But Rey Barreto, man, like you gotta understand, he 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 had this feel in regards to fusion and funk. I mean, he was a New Yorkan, so he 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 had the street. Uh, he was Americanized. It was a lot different the way he approached salsa at the time. And you gotta understand, growing up, he was the Superman. You know, if you look at the image, that was him. He was Superman. He was the Superman. Superman. Rey Barreto, Superman. Superman. Superman, 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 Barreto, Superman. Y'all gonna understand, Rey Barreto recorded with the Bee Gees. He recorded with Rolling Stone. The way he was able to express himself, the way he accented in the middle of songs. So many percussionists were influenced by Rey Barreto. La, la Mano de Hierro, this guy was 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 the hard hand. He was that. He was the guy that influenced so many younger generations like Giovanni Hidalgo, like Richie Flores. Like he, this guy had influenced so many people. So many people. So we have to give credit where credit is due. So the tumbao I want to talk about today uh, was a tumbao that I noticed in two of his songs, uh, Indestructible and Bam Bam Quere. Indestructible. The way he did it in, in Indestructible is a little bit, uh, you know, more repetitive. So I, I really want to break it down the way he approached it with Babanquere. Now, this move is very similar to uh, Jose Pollo from El Gran Combo de Puerto Rico, except um, I would say Rey Barreto is more aggressive on this. And I know a lot of people have asked, like, you know, can you please explain it, how you would put it in clave? Um, now both of these songs are in two, three son clave. If you don't know what that means, that means one. So one. That's two, three son clave. Now here's my issue with clave. I love clave. I think every musician needs to understand what the heartbeat is, what the soul of a song is, and that is clave. And you have to know and study it. You, you That's like you have to you have to you can't get away you can't get around it you have to learn it because it is the heartbeat it's what drives the song but sometimes depending on how your learning pattern is sometimes you need to learn the pattern before knowing where to put it because that's what clave helps you with is knowing where to put that pattern in this song so what i'm going to do is i'm going to Break down the tumbao first, and then I'm going to show you where it would land. I hope that works. So the pattern is simple. This is what it is. Obviously, I don't play like Rey Barreto. When Rey Barreto would slap, he would kind of like do this thing. So he would like... He would literally crouch his fingers like that, which is crazy because he still was able to get such a projection out of that tone and just by doing that. So, but I, I can't play like him. So, so to break everything down, this is basically what Rey Barreto did. Palm finger, slap, finger, palm finger, 
two opens, palm finger, then slap. And the trick is after you hit that slap, you go straight to the tumba and you only hit it once. After you hit that open tone, you do palm finger and then two opens. So to break everything down, it's palm finger slap, finger palm finger, two opens, palm finger slap, immediately to your right tumba or to your tumba, and then palm finger two opens. So So it, it's kind of cool because he goes doom, doo, doo, so to kind of put everything down and, and hit it with an accent. And it's crazy that he did this. He did this in the middle of a timbal solo. He did this in the middle of a flute solo. It's crazy the the I would say the bed he decides to leave for another soloist while doing this. It it it, it surprises me, you know. It, it really surprises me how he could do this. He does this in the middle of choruses and and uh, rey barreto. Now, where does this go in clave? It's two three son clave, so it's. This is what they told me in regards to clave. You should feel it. You should be able to feel it and know where to put certain things. So you should be able to feel where this tumba goes. So let's feel it. Did you feel it? Yeah. Yeah. I, most of y'all probably didn't feel it. But it's like, look. No, Papi, I'm recording. Say hi. So as I was saying, the feel to this song, if it's in 2-3 song clave, so you hit... Does it make sense now? So it's it's it if you listen to the especially if you listen to Indestructible, if you listen to Bamanquere, if you listen to these songs, you'll get the feel where that that hit goes. It always goes in the second hit on the three side of the clave. So it's one, two, one, mm, ta 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 mm, ta 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 mm, ta ta ta. So it always goes on the second hit of the three side of the clave. And again, it's two, three song clave. I know sometimes a lot of us don't like to get so technical, but some like, especially with this rhythm, uh, you have to know where it, it, it goes, especially for, you know, a classic song like Indestructible. So I hope this helps somebody. You already know what to do. Please like, subscribe, and if you want, you can hit the little the little bell thingy. All right, guys. See you guys next week.